don't know anymore. Yeah, I know there's a I know there's some ranger stuff that can do it. I don't think I know that. Right. I don't think. Uh, there's a feat from the snare crafters that right. that lets you make snares bigger snares. All right, course of what twenty one. Um, obviously, it's not that super high result, so you cannot even you know like pinpoint precision declare that okay in X amount of days we won't have any food. But you can roughly estimate, like seeing how much stuff uh, Tetric was preparing for you during your journeys. You now you are a group of four folks. Mm -hmm. Then, like adjusting that to the um, uh, scale. Uh, so yes, yes, to the size of the you know the the city. And even though I said that there are not that many of you in grand scheme of things, uh, like. Total inhabitants yeah. are like 200 to 300 uh, of various frost creatures. So in the end, short term, like I'm talking in the next... Short. <laughs> two to... I mean, maybe short term is like wrong thing because I'm saying like in a matter of a couple of uh, weeks. If like no one was doing any food stuff, like in a couple of weeks, it will be starting to get like noticeable like hey this might start being an issue and uh, in like three to four months if no one does anything then yes this uh, could become a, a problem mm -hmm. okay. so yeah so yeah. it's not something that needs to be done right fucking now but on the other hand you know that's it needs to be done too. Is this be will become an issue in the uh, future? I'm also gonna quickly mark off stone on the uh, list that Tetra has because we cleared out the uh, quarry. <clears throat> All right. Oh yeah. And by the way, fluffwise to explain, uh, basically I played it off that when the party returned, uh, Tetrix split off to back, and he went to back to his own chambers to basically meditate and contemplate about what happened and how to change his ways to basically explain why when he rejoins the party he will be slightly changed man in terms of uh, abilities. He hit just a man on Raven. It's like mm. he's sat in his completed, like, fenced-in area. No house yet. Just the fence to keep the mammoth herd that doesn't exist. And he just, like, sat in there, contemplating. Sat in there being sad. Mm. I still think it'd be hilarious if all the mammoths are extinct. I, I will say that. that I did, um, when updating... Tetric, I gave him uh, the Mammoth Lord dedication. As no. well as Mature Megafauna Companion. So nice. if he does find a Mammoth, he is immediately grabbing that. Don't worry. He's like, we you help. are my friend now. At least I know we have bears. Do you know we... Yeah. <coughs> yeah. We met a bear who was uh, attacking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, maybe that was the name? last bear. We don't. Um, like, this the last bear. It's, it's a picture. It's artistic interpretation. <laughs> 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 Got to be a big bear to be carrying a giant around, man. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah. I mean, yes. Uh, also, a question: Are you? Uh, I mean, I assume Tetrick is keeping with his uh, personal objectives. Yes. And I, no. sorry, Donut, I don't remember that I asked you that question last time, like, for Anders. Do you have any gold in mind right now, or are you, like, good for now? Uh, I think it is just a case of trying to purge the, uh, the stuff that we've been finding, really, namely the, uh, the aberrations. That's kind right. of his most set forward goal currently. I will say, uh, since the fence is finished, I think 
while on journeys, he's, uh, Tetris is going to look for like berry bushes that he can plant uh, in front of the fence for like extra food. Alright. Uh, speaking of finding things, uh, the herbs and whatnot, uh, yes. I don't recall if you visited uh, Sphere and... Oh, no, wait, there was a meeting with her, so probably you gave her the... Yeah, you gave her yeah, the resources. The herbs for four potions. Yeah, which uh, in the morning, um, because that was also a thing that... Uh, as the evening and night would be falling down, you should take a rest so that well rested you'll be moving out in the morning. So, yeah, pretty much the next day in the morning. And also you can like, yeah, do the well rest uh, thing, the, the full rest, I, uh, I should say. So come bright, um, snowy uh, morning, you gather up, a sphere will have um, four potions of healing uh, prepared for you. And I think I said like the standard one. Mm. Did I say the standard? Uh, I think so, because I think I would have noted down if it was a higher level. But it just says four potions instead of like four, uh, like greater or whatever. Hmm. Hold on. Maybe I did put it in my notes as well. God damn it. Yeah, because I probably didn't give you like a minor, it was... I think the survival result was kind of good, so... Okay, so basically, if you split it evenly, then every party member gets uh, one lesser healing potion. Okay. Unless you remember me stating something different, like if not lesser than moderate, but I think it probably was lesser. I think lesser would fit around the level that we're into. I have a lesser yeah. in my inventory now, if that's what you mean. Alright. <clears throat> when I say that. Yeah, uh, Sphere wishes. Uh, you good luck, and uh, she hopes that they will be of uh, use if need be. And then, if nothing else, you are good to go. Okay. Hey. There go. We're on the road again. Oh, uh, did we tell anyone that we cleared out the quarry? Yes. Okay, just double check. Oh that. yeah, that, yeah, you had a debriefing about... Um, I believe the next that... was, was it this tree, or was it yes. this tree? Yes, no, 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 it was uh, the, the uncorrupted uh, place of power. Yeah. Because the the elder shaman, your... Maybe not leader, but yet, uh, mentioned that... <sighs> Even though it doesn't feel like the place is corrupted, it um, the mana is not flowing. Let's go fuck it up then. All right. Mm -hmm. Break its kneecaps. You would be. Yeah, I'm sure that'll make it work better. Mm hmm. Yeah. Somewhat surprisingly, or maybe not, as you'll be traveling up to the. Uh, up to the tree, which will take you, uh, yeah, considering the distance, I would say would be arriving there in the noonish hours of second day. Um, along the way, you are not uh, 
harassed by anything, really. Uh, pretty much... Uh, like, within a day's, like, half a day's reach of the uh, capital, it the situation is uh, uh, clear and uh, controlled. Uh, and you'd like to think that uh, the calmness and stability is through a large part due to your actions dealing with various threats and uh, predators. Predators, uh. I would even say that you probably would have seen, uh, like, an hour or two after you, like, in the distance, like, no, uh, group, uh, not a surveyor group, but basically group of uh, workers, uh, giants moving out, and with some guards, you know, to pre preparing the the quarry to get back into uh, operation. Stuff would be uh, uh, happening while you deal, deal with big threats. Yeah, the capital is uh, expanding and working on to incorporating <coughs> the resources that you have acquired for them. Nice. And I would also say one thing to Helgander. Um, as the night before you uh, reach your destination, uh, you have a dream. Unless you want to go with the idea that your Drake doesn't dream, but... Dream? Really? I, uh... May have checked out for a moment. What's up? Uh, the night before you will be arriving at the destination, Helugander has a dream. Or perhaps a okay. vision. And Helugander sees himself uh, lounging on. Uh, no, wait. The night will be like too tropical, lounging on the pile of gold. But for a moment. Uh, basically, Helgander sees the the completion of his dream, whether it be by lounging in the piles of uh, of gold coins, uh, or perhaps something else. You see that your heart is uh, great, and that you are basically at the head of. Uh, financial uh, empire but just for a moment because well actually that's a question because I don't think it came up before uh, for Helgander does he have any personal opinion on like fate destiny like visions of the future, that kind of thing. I'd say that he doesn't believe in all that. Like others, surely they have theirs, but as a mighty dragon can, fate is his play toy. Your chew toy, or whatever have you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just makes me think of uh, this though. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That is good. And then shortly before you snap awake, uh, the dream shifts slightly. And you see that not everyone is uh, mm, happy. And there are there or there are there will be, perhaps if this is a vision of things to come. There will be quite a few of those that will be jealous of your avaricious uh, ways and that with 
words of revolution will be trying to bring down the capitalist scum or something like that the the words in the dreams are not exactly uh, clear we're gonna go through our own fucking french revolution <laughs> I mean, I know it's like a French associated, but I was like, you know what? Considering the goal, I know what type of uh, what nemesis of Hellingan will be. Communists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was imagining Hellingan wakes up from the dream and what is the equivalent of a draconic cold sweat. The party's like, what's wrong? It's like, I had a nightmare. I dreamt of communists. <laughs> It's like burn it alive for not knowing such an obvious thing. Mm. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, I need to that. Let me go present with you. Oh, uh, before anything else, I'm gonna do a survival roll for uh, the amount of food we get. Right, because even if you fail completely, because of you still have forager, right? Yeah. Yeah, because of forager. I see how much I get. It's a fair amount. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are very good on that we, front. We are well fed. <laughs> Because uh, I'm an expert in survival now, so it's a uh, increase the number of additional creatures if you're an expert in survival. Sixteen. <laughs> oh, I love forager so much. It's such, it's such it's such a good skill for you. <laughs> just just finds enough food for sixteen people. <laughs> well, I don't I think that's provided it's a crit success, but um. Oh, is it okay? Hold on. Yeah, but either way, it's still yeah, really it, even so. It's it's eight normally. It, like just just through existing, you can feed it eight people. It's fucking yeah, 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 yeah. It is eight. Yeah, I bad. would say that but result still. is good, uh, but it's not enough for a crit success. Yeah, no, no, yeah. <laughs> I I get that. My bad. <clears throat> I mean, still you are pretty good, and. Of course, the part is not the most uh, stealthy. So, as you'll be approaching the uh, place of power, uh, you'll notice because that person that resides uh, close to it, this also doesn't belong to the most of stealthiest creatures, because you, at least some, for some of you, it's kin. You will recognize um, a frost giant that lounges uh, next to the again looking dead but like very old ancient tree that also it feels uh, that this is a uh, place of power <clears throat> and he will uh, I'll put you there but before you approach and I need to roll something. Ooh. Okay. I need to look. What are your old passive perceptions? Uh, 25, 21, 20. Mm. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you would realize that uh, the frost giant is not um, alone, and there is a significantly large creature that lies in uh, hiding beneath the snow and because it didn't really roll that well it rolled well below your at least in one case it's like a critical failure against your passive perception 
Uh, at the very least, you know it is uh, huge because it's 15 by 15. Yeah. Oh yeah. If it's if it's is it trying to sneak or is it trying to hide? No, it's just like I decided because it's like not sneaking up to you. It's basically in hiding. Oh, then yeah, just yeah. Yeah, we noticed it then in that case. Yeah, so do not know yet what it is, but you do know that it's close by the cross giant that uh, noticing your approach will uh, not really snarl, but uh, I'll like shout out. Oh, you lot, what are you doing at my property? Left or right, Tim I'm, <clears throat> I'm surprised you're here. This is my property you're infringing upon. Mm. Yeah. Troll, I am Kursel, king of trolls. It's my land. Mm. No. Oh no, that's not your land. That, that tree and that plot is mine. No. It's not mine. Mm. Besides, you you are a f troll, and there is no king lording over me. And you realize him saying that he doesn't have any sort of markings on insignia. Yeah, I think I uh, is he wearing a red headband or something. <laughs> I do not understood that reference. Sorry. Uh, red is generally the color that uh, socialists and communists have worn throughout history. Ah, okay. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's... holding a hammer and sickle. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I have no king, says the communist. The dragon, you see the dragon start to panic in the back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Anders it's at this point true. is going to sort of reach up and remove his helmet and um, sort of speak. I'm Anders, chief of clan Isar. I, who are you, fe fellow kitten? I'm... I'm Storvold, and this is my place. And no one else can have it. I earned it fair and square. And how did you earn it exactly, if you do not mind me asking? Well, it probably killed I do mind you asking. Hmm. Uh, hey. hey. Who's that creature skulking about? I fed it off. The tree liked it, I think. Probably. It feels nice. It is nice here. And it's my place. I, I suspect that we are... I, I suspect that we are both here to accomplish the same thing. Although in the, your case, it seems you've already accomplished it. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> Mm. Mm. No, go this, ahead. Mm. Th this creature you fended, fended off, what did it look like? Oh, but then she like... Uh, go ahead, Vri. So Heligard is just kind of shifting around and uh, pulling out the list of uh, unallowed targets and making sure he's not on it. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, and Anders will be moving to like approach, although with a body posture that indicates that he's not like he's got his sword sheath on his back and he's not like reaching for it. He's just it's very non-hostile uh, body Actually, language. Actually, if anyone wants to, I will allow you to make an Arcana check. I can do that. Oh God, Arcana! <laughs> I can't do it through that because there's no active encounter, so I need to pull. I have a whole plus four. I have a whole, uh, 
plus two <laughs> from intelligence. Wow. And right, uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure that will, as a small reminder, because I, hold on, do you have it set properly? Uh, I could have made Arcana Master, no. but instead I made because it because I just trained. I did say mm -hmm. for like the in the first part of the session for the RP, I was gonna, I was giving like one hero point. So essentially, yeah, the entire party will start starting with two. Okay. Oh, nice. I will reroll mine then. Because the five is kind of awful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Don't worry, I got this part of it was on 18, with a uh, but it like, hit the bottom of my screen and turned to two. I know, I saw that as well. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Sally Helgander is a little bit distracted and he has a flashback of what those weird uh, red creatures wielding sickles were shouting down with the bourgeoisie. You're not sure what a burger is, the bur bur the is but... <laughs> Equal well for everyone! <laughs> and other such unmentionably horrible things. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, but for Kurzel and Anders... You do know that the Storvold, this giant, is not a spellcaster himself. But there is something unusual in the aura, like, about uh, him. And Petrick, who was 23, uh, you have no idea how that happened, how it was achieved. You guess that maybe Storvold got an achievement in ignorance. <coughs> But the mana from this place of power doesn't continue through because it's circling around and Starvolt seems to be the the focal point. Hmm. Okay. Oops. So you are not sure if he's malevolent or not, if he's doing this consciously or not. Uh it's up in the air, I'm gonna let you decide. But it almost feels like there is uh, some sort of siphoning feeling of the power happening here. Right. Uh, my mind is immediately going to, is it an illusion? Uh, Still bold or the like? I don't know. Uh. Your vault isn't real. Yeah. Conspiracy theorist channel at like 12. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest problem is you fail to dispel it, and then we all look, our oh, shit, oh fuck, oh no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a sense motive check. All right. Just to see if this dude is at all. I tried to do an intimidate check to convince him it's my tree. Mm. Oh, there was an there was an actual nice. I can actually put this here. Nice. There's an actual sense motive for action. Here we go. Hi. It's it's my tree. No, it's my no. It's definitely mine. Oh. Mm. Nice. <clears throat> All right. So. uh... With that, let me read the intentions. Okay, <clears throat> so for intentions, basically Storvolt is uh, channeling very much. He's not an old grumpy guy, but he's very much channeling get off my lawn mentality. <laughs> and uh, very much uh, being possessive of the tree and the power that... Not even... He knows exactly what's going on, but it's a good feeling for him, so he wants that good feeling to continue. Okay, so he... So, <laughs> it's not, so in terms of like mental magic affecting him, no, he's not being like dominated or charmed by some other unseen creature. He's not possessed. He's just uh, a junkie looking for a We eye. have to hold an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's just a junkie looking for his next fix. Um, and, uh, uh, yes, and uh, probably not only for uh, him because I was actually. I mean, look, this tree is nice for me and my pet. So nothing. I will not allow anything bad to happen to my pet. We're not here to harm your pets, although we are trying to heal the land uh, from what um, from creatures that seem to seek to corrupt it. Uh. Speaking of healing the land, I do want to make a quick nature check to sort of look at how the surrounding area is. Mm hmm. All right. Twenty-six. Nice. Everything seems to be normal. Actually, compared to the other places, yeah, this one has no sign of uh, corruption. Probably be... mm, okay. Then Probably the mana could. flow from the place of power to the capital doesn't go, but the place itself is uncorrupted. Right. So he dealt with the corrupted thing. Um, he is being in it, and because of that, the tree is sending mana to him, apparently. And the amount of mana staying in the area is helping the surrounding area be normal. Am I getting that right? Like, they, it doesn't have any corruption, uh, and it also has more mana than it would normally have since it's not flowing forwards to the capital. Seems like an educator, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm fucking token is still the original name. Fuck, I need to quickly change that. Oh. My clan could use a man like you, Storvold. Oh. You've already managed to repel and seemingly cleanse a place like this. Uh, He's holding it out from us. Mm. I just chase a creature. I, uh, he scratches his head. I mean, I don't remember exactly what it was. It's been a while and it's not important. There's too many legs. Tails. But it's gone. <laughs> Do you have an idea of where it went to? Hmm. He just basically gives like a white like wave of hand like in like it can be anywhere <laughs> from like you know this direction to this. I mean somewhere far away from here. And how long ago did you chase this off? Uh, I mean Weeks? It's like, I don't really bother counting time. Hmm. What were you doing before you chased it off? Just as looking at him, because it seems like he seem, doesn't seem to care about much of anything anymore. Scavenging, <laughs> surviving, found my pet. We made, we made a great duo. So like, if you think that just because there's four of you, uh, I guess four and a half, I'm not alone here. I mean, you are not William. monsters, so like, I'm not gonna kill you, but if you want to take this from me, I'm gonna give you a purple eye. Yes, I'm sure that will show up very well on our, on our blue skin. Um, that sounds like a hilarious challenge and insult. I mean, like, wait, not purple, like black, black eye. <laughs> wait, we good punch. Regardless, Dorvald, we do, at the very least, need to inspect the tree here to make sure that this place has been properly cleansed. 
that is the mission that we are on, and I hope we can come to an understanding on that. You can remain here as the guardian of it, if need be, but we do... We do need to... At least... Sanctify, verify. All right, give me a. Mm. Well, I need to like think in my head what's gonna be the PC. Well, I think for um. Yeah. I, th I, th I think I think I think it's the will DC. Um. And then, of course, plus or minus, whatever, depending on how friendly or indifferent they are. Yeah, otherwise you can make a diplomacy check. Okay. Yeah, they are definitely not friendly. I think they are... Uh... Hold on, I'm actually... Find it. Uh, oh, it's, yeah, okay. it's indifferent, not, uh... Mission. All right. Okay. <coughs> So, uh, actually, there's, uh, no, wait, that's all right. So, <clears throat> he will say, uh, you know what? Uh, I mean, you, you have fancy equipment, you look uh, big and strong, but everyone can claim they're just here to uh, do the right thing. And there, if there's one thing i remembering about the North is that here might decides uh, everything. So I'm gonna see how strong you are. Okay, Curse of Gibbs is the biggest fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. And this mm -hmm. is also just let it out, just a very audible, just. Ugh. Same idea as always, not just the biggest. <sighs> Curse will just step up. <laughs> Look, we could beat you into the dirt and kick your corpse around, uh, keep your body around a little bit until you give up. Why are we doing that anyway? He says, takes another step forward and goes, Uh, what do you want to do with this this tree? Palace of power. Uh, because it sounds to me like you're just searching for a fight. Mm hmm. No, you are searching for a fight. This place is very nice and. But not like. Fits me. I almost always feel. Pool and my pet as well. Yeah, because if that wasn't clear, I could. The uh, Tetric, if that was in character, has a pretty good right. understanding that Starvolt is. Like, maybe not by malice, but he seems to be the issue for this place. Yeah. <sighs> You'll have to forgive my kin, Kurzel. It seems sometimes I can only understand violence. As uh, Anders puts on his helmet and then draws his bastard sword. Yeah, we can roll initiative. I think you said that uh, Kurzel has stepped forward, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. 
Oh, look at that, we've got a delay still formation going on. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus fuck. Stored. <laughs> oh, so close to that as well. Like how the Nat 20 doesn't beat you. Alright, I'll roll anyways. Okay. <clears throat> I think Tetrick is just trying to like see if he remembers the name Storvold from in the uh capital at all. No, not okay. really. All right, fair enough. Yeah, not just three. I just rolled for you when it comes to initiative. Uh, all right. All right. So as I said, I'm gonna be nice and uh, not fight to. Kill you okay. and he grumbles to himself adjusting uh, adjusting for that is gonna be a bitch and then uh yeah he will without action and say come on my pet just be nice try not to burn them too much and you will see when it gets to this creature's turn, like, the snow, like, in this area becomes, like, starts to, like, uh, shake as something is, like, getting upwards. This is, like, one thing. Uh, second action, he starts... Okay, where did I leave it? And, like, goes through, like, the snow around. Then picks up a rocky-looking uh, thing. Okay, this will give you a concussion, not kill you. And then as a third action, he will give you... Uh, he will... Attack with a rock. With minus two, because he's attacking non-lethally. I did check it out. It is possible if the weapon doesn't have non-lethal trait, you can still attack non-lethally. You just take minus two penalty to attack roll. Let's see. One Kurzel, two Anders. Away. Oh, actually missed. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that was its uh, last action. And no, we didn't count the. No, we didn't. Ugh. I don't know why it didn't count. Anyways, that was its uh, Starvel's third and last uh, action. Oh, I knew. Adjusting for that would be a pain. And okay. Mm, Anders. Okay, Anders is going to. Uh, this is going to take two actions, that's what I'm saying. Uh, let me just have a quick look here. Yeah, fuck it. What's the level of um, murder we're doing here? Um. Non-lethal, apparently. Eh. Okay. I see no reason to kill the guy. Yeah, I don't think uh, what we could do is we could just like knock him out. You know, after he wakes up, bring him back to the capital. I was just making sure you don't need to like burn a hole in his skull or something. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, that's a miss. Uh, which is... K. 
Curzel's turn now. Yep. <sighs> well, I've done this before, this bonking in my head. Well, your head may look tougher than most, but I don't think it'll be more than I can handle. Hmm. Curzel walks up on action and casts this. Hmm. Casting shield. Of course. There. Okay, I think that, yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the three actions then. Yes, that, that's my turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So right after you, uh, the snow bursts up, and you finally see the creature that you were. Always something was looking beneath, but now you know what this pet that Storval was talking about is. As you see, this amalgamation of frost and fire uh, showing up to your senses. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. That's not look horrifying at all. <laughs> not at all. Why are you talking? Hmm. Um... <clears throat> Come on. N not eating. Only for you right now. <laughs> so, like, let's say one action was coming up, second it's gonna step up, and third. Now with the grizzle, and yeah, with it just. Okay, so the so the, the big thing here is that spells cannot be used non-lethally. So mm -hmm. I think just yeah. as long as long, basically just, as long as the last hit is non-lethal, um, that will you know knock him out. Ah, yeah, yeah. I see. You just want to hit us with as much damage as possible. Mm. But no, I, I'm I'm more thinking for the spellcasters. <laughs> yeah. I already think I'm gonna target the guy just with something that I know. Uh, won't deal with damage, but will make it easier to deal with him. Yeah, that is non, non, non lethal, but still damage is damage, and that was its third action. There's a block to hit less. Wait, what? Why is Tedric, why is Tedric prone off guard? What I have huh? no idea. Where? Uh, I think that's from when I was, uh, what's it called? Dying horribly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Nope. Oh. Beam out. For this. Thank you. Um. My turn, right? Yep. I'm gonna cast Day's Weight. I'm too. On, uh. Going bold. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. How do you say? What do you say to him to make him feel too old for this? <laughs> I'm too old for this. My Is that all you say? Hurts, <laughs> and soon yours will too. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, Succeeded, I still, still gets, feel uh, fine. Oh, wait. Still gets fatigued and enfeebled. It's only a crit site. Okay, uh, there is fatigue and enfeebled for one round. Okay, so I need to remember that. Yep. After. Yep, yep, yep. It, it, it should track it automatically on the token if it's going for one round. Alternatively, I don't think it does actually for these. Yeah, so basically, I think it's the start of uh, Tetrix's turn that it will wear uh, right. off. All right, uh, that's like two actions. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, I, I think I think that will be it. Um. No, I will. I will have my uh, pet move. There we go. That is my turn. Where is the? Uh, there we go. So now he threw a rock at us. Does he have a noticeable weapon? Uh, yes, uh, gray ducks. Is he holding it? 
I'd assume if he had to throw the rock, it's held in one hand, probably. Mm. Yeah. That, 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 that will be relevant for the next turn. <laughs> okay. Because I'm going to be disarming him. Oh. Oh. Alright. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> well, that goes to athletics track. Alright. Which means because you rolled that, then that... That works. No, yeah, so on disarm on success. Uh... Okay, so it's not a it... crit success. What's his, uh, what's his reflex? I mean, I, I don't suppose he yeah, but yeah. Don't know, I don't know what the reflex DC is. Oh, okay, I got confused because I'm reading telekinetic maneuver. I'm like, okay, so I'm counting that 23 as an attack roll, but no. Okay, so against reflex. I mean that's still a hit, but still not a not a crit success. Because remind okay. me, it's like ten plus reflex value, right? Uh, yeah, ten plus reflex save. Yeah, so that's a success, not a crit success. And the sarm on a success is, uh, yeah, so you get plus one bonus against for further disarming, and then target is another minus two penalty to attack with that item. Yeah. So he's like, wait, 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 wait. it's not still in my hands. Like, yeah, his grip on the weapon is like shake-ish, but he's not like fully disarmed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, is that Helagunda's turn? Yes, so there's three actions. Okay, then, uh, yep, yeah, end the turn. Oh yeah, by the way, as a reminder, I think you can also activate it on your end if you want to. Uh, that the Argon Combat Cut. And the module is active if you like. It's basically a different way of like acquiring your uh, actions if you do not want to use the token hat thing. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> if, if, if he's got that axe, great axe gripped in one hand, he's going to have to use an action to grip it in two. <laughs> yep. And it's gonna have to use an action to uh, get rid of the disarm debuff. I mean, if he wants to, but yeah, it's uh. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So he yeah spends one action to uh yeah like oh come on why is this so slippery and like yeah tries to reaffirm the uh, grip. And that's the second thing that you mentioned, so basically like two actions wasted on uh, like steadying uh, himself yeah, and his weapon. And then as a last one, he will yeah, go with Great Axe, still trying to like hit you with a blunt end of the weapon. To like, again, try not to kill you, just giving you a like, bruise you up. I love how... Donut's character, even though he's a frost giant now, still looks like all of his other characters. <laughs> yeah, it's in the full picture. It's, uh... <laughs> there, 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 there is a... There is a just... There is a dastardly amount of skin showing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you cropped it to not show the skin. <laughs> Oh, I'll show the I'll show the full picture. Uh, where is the Pathfinder three? Uh, I know this is obviously not full play, but I, as it turns out, it's very difficult to find pictures of Frost Trolls wearing uh, full play. I mean, still still up there in your style of character. Yeah, true. If I if I played a barbarian, maybe. Yeah, this would make a very good barbarian picture. Actually, if I was playing a barbarian. Damn. <laughs> Okay, well, I get, I get damaged. There we go. Alright, and that was his part action. 
I mean, come on, I didn't even hit you that hard. I'm actually very bad at non-lethal. You could try and use your claws, I but I'm not sure how good you are. I only have like two spells that don't straight up deal damage. And I I've already used one of them. Okay, well, uh, while, while people discuss that, I'm going to uh, I mean, cast... It's really your call, how honorable or not do you feel? Sure, strike. Uh, I mean, I, my deity. I mean, I see that's like people's favorite combo, which makes sense. Divine weapon. <laughs> Uh, and then... Story of Strike, yeah. So, I need to quickly just uh, cast a... One of these. Alright. Uh, don't, don't use it against that. I need to... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not using... I'm not healing him, obviously. Um, I'm healing oh, myself. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you attack yourself and heal him? What the heck, though? That's traitor already. Mm. Okay, so this. So I heal myself. Uh, and then I strike with uh, the... <coughs> sure strike effect. There we go. Now the fun thing is, uh, I, I see that the Pathfinder curse still exists in 2nd edition. No, I made the, higher you, the higher your bonus, the lower you roll. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to include the, I forgot to include the minus two there, but that'd be thirty regardless. So. Yeah, that's a that's a hit, not a crit, but a hit. So roll damage. I think it's uh, I think it's this. Yeah, it's this. Okay, very nice damage. Uh, and then, thanks to restorative strike, uh, that means that uh, I think Kurzel, uh I don't know if I can apply it, but Kurzel, you heal fourteen HP. I think, Thanks to I think so, uh, Julius will have to do it manually. Yeah. So, you, you see Anders sort of mutter something to himself, um, incanting a spell as his blade sort of glows like uh, holy, holy white, as he then strikes at uh, Storvold, and both uh, both Kurzel and Anders seem to like, glow <laughs> as the strike connects, um, and their wounds seem to close. Get your healing. This is uh, still a very donut character. You're healing, healing by hitting people. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our wonderful flame war priest. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's my turn. All right. There's the list. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, when I said I when I said I was going to make a healer, uh, right? I wasn't going to make it just a spog standard healer. <laughs> 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 it's only fun when the healers deal more damage than the DPS. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right! Uh. I mean, it is the classic cleric shenanigans where the cleric was so saying. Uh, deal talk more damage than everyone's tanking everyone everyone else and heals more than everyone else and yet nobody plays them because they don't want to be the healer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really a uh, support class if they can't deal more damage than the fucking best class for damage? Truly. They're the best way Plus to play. I with this weapon. Sure. Sorry, let me let me just do this. Uh, total I've got certain money. Plus five hit. That's... Oh, it's because it's, 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 it's because you're not. It's because I don't. Let me have a quick look. Oh yeah, yeah. You... Let me have a quick look at your Oracle of Battle stuff just quickly. But yeah, you as an Oracle of Battle, you should be trained in. No, no, it's... Oh, choose one weapon group that embodies your mystery. That's why. You, you chose axes, so you're not trained in how to use great swords.
Why? <laughs> Whom you were targeting? Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Reroll Right? Yeah, that... That smacks a bitch. I'm just laughing at your, uh... Mm hmm? Worry about... That's me. Getting a 17 mm -hmm. game. <laughs> look, look, we got... It, it, it's fated. We can't always fate in the end. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything else? Nope, not with that. All right. Mm. <clears throat> and you also realize that standing that close, you feel the heat. Like the creature is very, very warm, and probably in normal circumstances, you would. Like actually be slightly burning, but for some reason, the aura of this creature, at least for now, is not damaging uh, you. Something to do with the place. But yeah, uh, I need to roll something. Hmm. Yeah, the creature saying that you are hurting its uh, master roars in anger. Oh, okay, they are hitting her. Just remember, a nibble. We don't kill our kin. Even if they, if they if, even if they are knee benders. Yeah, the creature will. Actually, yeah, with minus the penalty, but okay, for one action, a move, so it's it has both uh, Anders and Corzolan in range, and then it's gonna uh, trash, kind of throwing like a uh, tantrum of like. Ah, why cannot, why I cannot eat them? Uh, kind of thing, and okay. yeah, it will make one strike against Curzel, one against Izar. So it tells me just spread out, maybe. <laughs> Actually, let's see, it's gonna be taking too long if I'm gonna be putting the penalty every time. Sally doesn't. So it's minus two, so it misses. Uh, Curzel tries to like snap it jaws at you, and then for Anders with its tail, yeah, also like count minus two after the after the roll. So twenty seven. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that hits. Twenty seven still gets you, all right. Yeah, I think that's probably going to how we're going to have to go about it. It's just imagine a minus two on it, everything. Yep. Oh no, fire damage. Oh no. <laughs> beam. Oh no! Either its tail is kinda hot. Eh? Oh, I don't no. think... Would it only be uh, 8 damage? So... No, no, that... Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's actually correct because... No, it's it's counting correctly because it's uh, 6. Oh, right, right, because that's how resistance the weakness works. It just adds to it. Yeah, it adds to it. Yeah, it adds the value. We've got weakness 10, remember? So we take 10 additional fire damage whenever there's a... Uh... A bit. Which means that the fucking D6 it's doing is getting a lot of fucking value. <laughs> and that's its uh, turn. I think at the start of Tetrix's turn, uh, Starville loses, loses in Feeble and yep. Fatigue. Yep, yep. Okay. Gonna... Gonna move myself a bit. Not, uh, not too close, but close enough. That I believe. Oh, actually, no, I do have to move a bit closer. Hmm. 
That'll be fine. Yeah. Okay.